Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Frankfurt Hot Dogs, and welcome back on this slick morning. I'm your host, Ricky Hannon, and my guest host, Mrs. McGuire. Stay tuned for the latest in news, weather, and sports. Now over to Weather with Victor. Thanks. When you came in today, the temperature was at 43 with the winds to be at 16, but it felt like 36. When you go out to lunch today around 11, it will be raining throughout the rest of the day. It will be mostly cloudy. When you come in tomorrow, it will be 18 degrees, but it will feel like 8. So make sure to dress good for the cold. That's all for weather. Now back to the studio for more news. For lunch today, on lines 1 and 2 will be chicken bowl, ham and cheese stuffers, or calzone. Line 3 will be closed, and line 4 will be soup and salad bar featuring potato soup. And line five will be Big Daddy's Pizza. A happy birthday today goes out to Isaiah Medina, Erica Perez, Braden Perkins, and Ezekiel Van Devender. Now over to sports with Nick. Thanks. Last night, the swim and dive team squared off against the Kokomo Wildcats. The girls fell by a score of 66 to 119, and the boys lost 69 to 106. Despite both sides losing, the team swam well. A few of the event winners were Tyler Harness in the 200 meter freestyle, Adam Haynes in the 100-meter breaststroke, Aubrey Teeter in the 100-meter freestyle, and Kylie Adams-Long, Aubrey Teeter, Patience Dean, and Carly Besler won the girls' medley relay. Today, right after school, in Coach Dudley's room, he will be holding a meeting for anyone playing to play baseball this spring. See Coach Dudley with any questions. Track and field unofficial practices will be continuing today and tomorrow at 310. Use the PE locker rooms for changing clothes. Then, meet at the stairs by the weight room. If you missed your track meeting and are interested in participating still, then see Coach Galati as soon as possible for more information. Distance runners, be prepared to go outside. Life Touch winter sports pictures are tomorrow after school in front of Case Arena. That's it for sports. Now back to McGuire and Ricky with the rest of the news. Thanks, Nick. The bookstore will be closing at 1045 today, but will open as usual tomorrow. This Friday will be faculty night at the basketball game when Frankfurt squares off against Crawfordsville. Come and support your fellow hot dogs and the faculty. There will be a faculty section. There will also be an improv show right after the game. Tickets are $3. Come and enjoy a night full of laughs. It's that time of year again for Mr. Galati's PE class, the belly flop competition. We'll be showing four clips of belly flops. Period two teachers can rate which one is the best. Send your votes to Mr. Galati. We'll be showing those videos tomorrow during the announcements. For students interested in help filing your FAFSA, the counselors are hosting a FAFSA completion night on Tuesday, February 5th from 4 to 7 p.m. in room 150 here at the high school. This evening will be focused on getting your FAFSA completed and submitted. Bring any necessary tax documents that you may need. Head to guidance if you have any questions. Get your cap and gown so I don't have to repeat this every day. Deadline is March 1st. Costs are $52.43. Ms. Rennick will need your weight, height, and a $10 deposit. Your books are still on sale at the bookstore for $35. This year's book will be delivered before graduation, so get yours now. That's all we have for the news. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay notified, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Hot dogs.